What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our silicone radiator hose kit on your 2016 Plus Camaro Turbo. If your vehicle has the heavy duty cooling package, you're gonna to wanna to check out our other install video for those hoses. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include T30, seven and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet and extensions, panel tool, flathead screwdriver, assorted pliers, and Mishimoto's liquid chill. Installation time is about one hour. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. Caution, never work on the cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you are unsure. Loosen the clamp that secures the air intake to the turbocharger inlet. Disconnect the CCV hose from the intake by sliding the locking tab over and pulling the hose off of the port. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor and release the harness from the intake tubing. To release the connector, slide the red locking tab up, depress the black tab, and pull the connector off of the sensor. Separate the intake from the turbocharger and remove the intake assembly by lifting it upward. The air box is held in by three pegs and grommets. Remove the five screws that secure the air diverter to the driver's side of the vehicle and remove the air diverter. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Remove the four screws and six bolts that secure the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle. Then remove the splash panel. If equipped, remove the four nuts that secure the stock HD cooler to the underside of the vehicle. Slide the oil cooler off of the studs in order to access the petcock on the radiator. Place a drain bucket underneath the petcock on the radiator and use a pair of pliers to open the petcock. Remove the pressure cap from the expansion tank to expedite the draining process. Close the petcock on the radiator once all of the coolant has drained. If equipped, reinstall the stock HD cooler and secure it with the four nuts you removed earlier. Remove the oil filler cap. Remove the bolt that secures the engine cover to the engine and remove the engine cover. Compress the clamp that secures the overflow hose to the coolant pipe on the valve cover and slide the clamp down the hose. Then separate the hose from the pipe. Compress the clamp that secures the overflow hose to the expansion tank and slide the clamp down the hose. Compress the clamp that secures the overflow hose to the radiator and slide the clamp down the hose. Remove the overflow hose from the vehicle. Compress the clamp that secures the upper radiator hose to the radiator and slide the clamp down the hose. Then remove the hose from the radiator. Compress the clamp that secures the upper radiator hose to the engine and slide the clamp down the hose. Then remove the hose from the engine. Remove the upper radiator hose from the vehicle. Separate the tree clip that secures the harness to the AC compressor. Compress the clamp that secures the lower radiator hose to the engine and slide the clamp down the hose. Compress the clamp that secures the lower radiator hose to the radiator and slide the clamp down the hose. Then remove the hose from the radiator. Lubricate the inner lip of each end of the lower radiator hose. Install one of the provided clamps over each end of the hose. Lower the hose into place and attach it to the radiator first and then to the thermostat housing. Position the clamps over the bead rolls of their connections and tighten the clamps to secure the hose. Lubricate the inside lips of the upper radiator hose with fresh coolant and slip one of the provided worm gear clamps over each end. Lower the hose into place and attach it to the radiator first. Then connect it to the water outlet of the engine. Position the clamps over the bead rolls of their connections and tighten the clamps to secure the hose. 
Locate the overflow hose in your kit. Install one of the provided worm gear clamps over each end of the hose and install the hose to the vehicle. Position each clamp over the bead roll of its connection and tighten the clamp to secure the hose. Reinstall the air intake. Slip the fresh air duct of the air box into place under the radiator support. Install the intake hose to the turbocharger inlet and tighten the clamp that secures it. Align the pegs on the air box with the grommets on the body of the car and push the air box down to engage them. Install the CCV hose to the intake. You will hear an audible click when the hose is engaged. Connect the mass airflow sensor harness to the intake tube and reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Lock the connector with the red tab. Reinstall the engine cover. There are two tabs at the back of the cover that must slip into the housing underneath the wiper cowl. Install the bolt that secures the engine cover to the valve cover and reinstall the oil filler cap. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed GM approved coolant through the reservoir filler neck. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heat to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain proper level in the reservoir and check your connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, shut the engine off and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle has fully warmed up and the coolant level is stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and then top off the coolant level. Coolant level should be checked once more after putting in some miles. Install the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle and secure it with the original hardware. Install both of the air diverters to the vehicle and secure them with the original hardware. If you forgot which side is which, look on the underside of the diverters. The driver's side will be marked LH and the passenger side will be marked RH. Now that you have the hoses installed and you're sure that the cooling system has been properly bled, go ahead and take your Camaro for a test drive. It's a good idea to check the coolant level once more after the vehicle is cooled off. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.